A policy question, Mr. Secretary. How do we reconcile the all-out drug war in this country with helping drug uh, convicts in another country? Um, one is we, we do not exclude anyone uh, from legal assistance. Second, the, the war on drugs, that's our, uh, we don't, we have to be careful about how we phrase it, but the yeah. truth is we have confidence in our, uh, in our judicial or justice system. I'm not talking of suspects uh, yes, or respondents. Yeah. I'm talking of convicts. Convicts. Those who were already convicted of drug uh, cases, drug, drug charges. So how do we reconcile? Dito sa basa natin, we're killing people, and then we're saving drug uh, convicts detained in other, another country. Well, I'm just, I'm just yeah, curious. No, no, no. I'm, 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 well, frankly, I, I used to wonder about that. And that's why I continue to support the abolition of the death penalty. Because I cannot see how, if now that we have abolished it, if we restore it, how we can appeal, uh, if we feel that there is a uh, possibility of a miscarriage of justice uh, in a foreign country, how we can appeal for mercy. Or a commutation of sentence. No, I, that's a completely unresolved issue as far as I'm concerned. Because I cannot reconcile it in my mind. Neither I hope can I. you can reconcile it in your mind. No, I you cannot. cannot. Yeah, thank yeah. you. No, not at all. Possible to to rationalize this way that we we are not we are not saying that they should not be punished, but since they are our nationals, we take care of them. We yeah. we, we monitor how they are treated. Uh, we look at their conditions. So. Is that, is that a way yeah. to rationalize? Mr. Chairman, maybe the justification is we treat them as Filipino first and convicts later or second. Yeah. I like because both. We, because yes. we, will, we will never ask uh, a foreign I, country, yeah. do not punish our countryman who is involved in drugs because we also, we also will jail him here if he, if he violates our laws. But, but uh, when you incarcerate him and you punish him, well, we, we, we should be allowed to take a look and pay a visit to our countrymen and uh, look at his condition or situation. Yeah. I believe that um, that position, they are Filipinos first before they are anything else, is uh, thank you very much for that. And, and that's why I hope that I get, we get invited more often to this committee because we need all the thinking we can. Yes, because uh, we also have to be careful about saying we're not sure about your justice system. We expect the world to respect our justice system. We cannot raise that question abroad. But we can say, well, it's our obligation. That obligation is weakened when we restore the death penalty, especially in death penalty cases. Yes? Perhaps, uh, uh, Mr. Secretary, you can have your own internal uh, department study. As of the uh, relative to the cut-off date, when you utilize your legal assistance fund post-conviction, pre-conviction, so probably more death rows right now are those cases wherein the government never utilized the, the legal assistance fund because this is just of recent vintage. I, I, I'm very sure of that. Uh, previous, previous to that uh, shift in policy, you utilize the funds after conviction, just in the appellate procedure. Am I correct? Uh, well, that's an interesting point. How many of them were convicted uh, before we changed policy to extend legal assistance all the way down to the, to the arrest? Um, Your Honor, uh, when we check our records, most of our, um, most, because most of the ones in drug cases are on the death row. So we have provided them lawyers since the inception of the case. Um, it's just that um, many of them are drug mules, or some of them, like in the case in Mexico, we have constructive possession of the drugs in a ship. So um, yeah, yes, but uh, we make representations with the countries of destination that we, we asked for due process and speedy resolution of the case, considering this is migrants. And with, of course, most countries now adopted the Global Compact for Migration. They understand, sir. A case-to-case basis, but the previous policy is that you apply the legal assistance funds after conviction. Um, I mean, uh, she said, um, when it is a death penalty, we go in immediately. When the, like, when the prospect of punishment is death, we came in even before the change in policy.